What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I am super excited to show you this uh, card game. It's on mobile, it's on PC if you've never played this before. It's Super Auto Pets. Um, I've been having a really good run at this game, really learning it, uh, becoming pretty good. It looks like I'm at a 70% win rate of getting 10 trophies, which is the maximum you can get. Uh, just out of my last 10 games, 1-7, uh, and their other games did pretty decent as well. Uh, I want to show you guys this game, teach you how to play, show you the uh, basic strategies and the advanced strategies. I'm going to try to explain uh, my moves as we go on. Um, I'm going to be a little bit more explaining in this first video, and in the rest of the ones, I'm going to assume that you know how to play this game. Uh, so here we go. This is Super Auto Pet. So it's an auto battler. You're going to be spending your money, um, and you're going to be acquiring these pets that have attack and health. That's simple enough. Every single pet costs three, and the food that can buff these things costs three as well. And uh, there's a couple exceptions of things that only cost the last one or zero, but uh, we'll worry about that later. So you have ten gold to spend every single turn. If you don't like your choices, you can spend one gold pressing the roll button, which is right underneath where I'm sitting right now. So you can't see that button, but it's right over here. And uh, let's just get right into the game. All the pets have different abilities. I'll show you sort of the builds that you want to... Uh, try to build your only presented with certain options. So you have to know a few different builds uh, and how to build them up in order to succeed in this uh, in this game. Mosquito is not only a good card in the early game, but also in the late game. So we're going to grab that over the duck. Good stats. It's doing one random to an enemy. Otter is also a very good card early. So we are going to grab that. It's able to buff cards. I'm going to roll. You can basically roll one time for free. If you're acquiring three things, you're rolling once. And we got another otter. Let's go. So either one that this hits is fine. Um, I think I'm going to presume they'll have a pig or an ant in the front. So we want the one attack guy in the front. And then you also want your weakest guy typically in the back. Because if you make an even trade with your strong minions before that, you have your little nothing that wasn't contributing. But it'll just keep you alive. Uh, so you just press end turn and you're matched up against uh, a random player's just there's a pool of what other people have created, their lineups, and you're going to be automatically attacking each other. Uh, we are going to go with the square teapot for today. Uh, so, again, it's just an auto battler. This is the lineup of someone else. He ends up with a 3-4 duck. Now it's a 3-3 three, three, because we smacked him. And our strategy ended up working out really, really well between the... First little otter and the our mosquito, we were able to take out really both of the minions of the opponent, and we had something left, so we win. We get a trophy. Whenever you win, you get a trophy. Whenever you lose, you lose a heart. Game ends when you have zero hearts left or when you get ten trophies. Ten is the max. Um, you're, we're going to be looking for multiple uh, parts of these creatures because when they evolve, it'll give you something really good. Now, these little ones mean that it's actually the first tier of pets there's actually going to be six tiers the ones are typically the weakest uh then the twos are going to be stronger then the threes are the strongest ones in the entire game and then the, the fours are a little weaker than three now it's really supposed to be that each one of them is actually stronger than the last year threes are kind of the, going to be always be the bread and butter of a lot of decks but uh, every once in a while you're going to be building it around the expensive cards these first cards are very often throw away they're just to be able to win the first few rounds uh you're going to be able to evolve them and be able to get the next tier for example if i would combine three otters together i have two if i were to combine three together i would actually get an, uh, a chance to pick one tier two pet uh so we don't have a third otter i'm gonna just mulligan this entire thing and we did get an otter. Now, I'm going to save this for next round. This is a really good setup here. Uh, so we're going to grab all three of these. The horse is going to come first. This actually buffs minions we play after. So uh, I will pick a you. Uh, we want to play this otter on top of this one. So it's actually, wait, how do we want to do this? We want to combine these first. Then we want to play this otter, so it's definitely hitting one of our base cards. Stats do not combine when you actually combine things later, so we want to hit one of these three. Uh, and then we'll play the weaker mosquito here, so this mosquito can go into the high stat card. And this is an extremely, extremely good lineup. The weakest card is in the back, of course. Uh, we'll have a 2-2 two, two and a 2-3. This looks really good. So we're going to end turn and get right into it. Yeah, so the mosquitoes are going to get a couple of free shots, which are very good if they have weak minions. They both hit their 1-2. It's pretty bad. 
Um, they're just auto attacking until everything's dead, and we absolutely. He had an ant in the back, which was really weird. Ants are gonna buff a different one of your creatures when they die, but if it's in the back, it doesn't do anything. Um, all right, so now that we're at tier two, we're on round three. So again, round three is in tier two, and then three and four, then turn five, you're gonna have automatic access to tier three, then seven is gonna be tier four, etc. Uh, now that we're at tier, tier um, we're at turn three, which we should theoretically have had some tier twos here. Uh, we unluckily we didn't have any. Uh, we're gonna combine these right now. And we're going to look to see what we got. So we got Badger. It's not a terrible card. I think I'll actually grab this because, again, the tier, the Badger is pretty good to put in the back. It's going to be able to finish off things. You can even give this some honey, which is going to make it better. I am going to grab the Badger. Um, I'm going to grab an Otter. Now, the Otter, when I play it on here, is actually going to give two random friends, one, one, instead of just one. So that's a really good shot. And we're going to roll the dice once. See what else we get. Didn't get anything too amazing here. Elephant can sometimes be good. It's not good in this matchup because you want to put this in the back since it's doing damage to you. We got the Badger going... Hedgehog. Alright, so we can either combine the mosquitoes and grab either elephant or hedgehog. I'm not grabbing shrimp, it's not very good. Or we can feed something a bone. Um, I think this otter is going to be around for a while. So is the mosquito. I can probably just feed the mosquito the, the meat and make it sort of independently powerful. I think that's what I'm going to do. This should pretty much ensure that we're going to win this round. So let's go for it. Uh, so we killed something for free, which is really nice. That's one fewer shot. Hell yeah, making really good trades, and we absolutely dominated. So we're on a real roll here, having won three out of three so far. Uh, it means it puts a little less pressure on the late game for it to perform. So this is the strategy called Honey Badger. Badger is very high attack, and then it also kills whatever, you know, the, is their last minion. And then if you can actually give it this honey, this bee is not going to be attacked uh, by the badger. So this will ensure that uh, when the badger dies, you'll have a guy left, and you've basically obliterated their field. So that's really, really good. That's going to carry us pretty far here. Uh, nothing really worth taking, so we're going to roll. Uh, <laughs> interesting getting meat bones, which is one of the stronger stronger things we can get um i could go for a swan which is going to give us more resources since we're not really developing any strong strategies except for the honey badger and this is kind of good to go already i'm going to combine these we'll hope for i'm going to get a swan which is going to be giving us an extra gold every turn which means we're just we're not going to be able to acquire an extra guy unless we get a bunch of swans but it means we're able to mulligan for the good pets, especially starting, you know, turn five. That's when that happens. Since I also do want to sort of stick this swan stick around and it has low attack, I'm going to give that a meat bone just so it can do something. This is a really good setup, though. Extremely good. So let's get... The order seems okay. We need a leap. The order seems... I'm going to put maybe the two weaker ones together. So if this doesn't finish something off the swan one, then this can finish off a whole creature by itself. I might as well actually do it like this, put these two together, because 4 plus 3 will kill something. We don't have the consideration of the horse buffing anything once we spawn. Doesn't look like we're building that kind of deck. You don't grab a cricket right now, by the way. It's not going to be viable for much longer, even though we have a horse. So this looks good. Good first trade. Smack, smack. Oh my god, that horse got annihilated. Uh, very good. And look at the honey badger. It's not even going to need its ability with the honey. So we are absolutely dominating right now. We're still going to be looking for a late game strategy. We have a dolphin, which is our only tier 3 pet. Obviously, snail we're not going to get because we didn't lose the battle. These pills cost 1 to kill something, but there's nothing that's good to kill. There are some things that are good to kill in this game. What are we going to do? You know what? We have the swans. We have an extra mulligan this turn. I think I'm just going to spend it. I don't see the dolphin. We could just go... 
I could freeze this now. I'm not going to freeze this now. This is turn five, the beginning of turn five. I'm not going to rely with this very strong team on us losing next time and actually losing our options for the future. If I really thought I was going to lose, I'd keep the, I'd, I'd freeze this now. But I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to win this next round anyway. I mean, we are way ahead. Way ahead. I'm going to really try to mulligan strong for an actual strong base of our deck i don't think dolphin's gonna be it we could make a sniping team i mean we actually would badger be good with dolphin for some reason i don't think so badger's kind of doing its own thing it doesn't really synergize i'm not gonna go for dolphin i'm gonna look for something stronger so here's mosquito which is actually gonna give us a tier four so we'll grab that first uh, worm it is. Worm is definitely something we can pump a lot of uh, meat into. Every time it eats food, it's going to be growing. So I'm going to get rid of the horse. We also have kangaroo, which can sit behind the worm. So I think this is what I'm going to go for here. Um, between the swan and the mosquito and the otter, I'm going to get rid of the horse first. I'm going to grab this worm. I think what I'm going to do is sell the swan, grab the kangaroo to be put behind here, and actually grab the otter and buff. And next turn, I'm really going to start try to really concentrate on buffing, starting to buff the worm. The other thing I can do is, is ditch the otters already, which seems kind of sad. It's really nice to be able to mulligan harder for food with the worm. So we should consider doing that. These are just so strong. I'm not getting rid of you. I could get rid of the otter. I could get rid of the otter, keep the swan. The swan has attack, you know, equipped to it already. So I'll be at seven. I'll actually be able to kangaroo and actually mulligan this turn for a food. That'll probably be better. Instead of giving two random things 1-1. One, one, I don't feel like this is going to help us long term. Buffing the worm. The worm is going to be our entire strategy. So I'm going to actually ditch this, which is weird. So I guess I might as well, if I'm only mulliganing for food, I might as well freeze these, roll now, and see if we actually get some food, since it's the only thing I would buy here besides for these are food right now. We also do have an ox that I'm not even thinking about, but no, the ox is not going to uh roll let's roll first so we got swan giraffe decent picks we didn't get food though <sighs> being able to mulligan more later would be nice I think if we're going to be buffing Worm, we're going to have to have a kangaroo behind it in order to actually be viable here. So we're always buying that. Is Otter buffing two random things. I could... I could just go for Swan. You know what? If we're going to need... We're going to need a lot of food. Thank you, Bookus. Oh my gosh, here comes the spam. Here, I'll save you guys from this. Bookus, I really appreciate your subbing, but you gotta you gotta stop doing that. It's freaking annoying. <laughs> Spams fry a hundred times. Alright, I'm gonna go with my gut, which is gonna be unfreeze this. We're selling you. We're gonna buy kangaroo, which doesn't even go behind us right now. And we're going to buy swans, so we're going to be able to hopefully get another swan and mulligan a little harder. Uh, this is going to go here. Our, 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 we're actually a signif doing significantly worse now um, than we were before. But this is we're setting up something for the late game. We're really going to try to pump this up. We weren't really able to this turn. I'm not going to grab giraffes. No, we're not worth it. All right, let's go, guys. Let's see if we can just survive or at least draw this round. We have the honey badger in the back. We have a strong mosquito. We have plenty of resources here, so we should be okay. Uh, we are not getting it done here. Really strong bull. So... That's okay. We take our first loss, but we have five lives. We are gonna make the comeback. We have honey, which is not what I want to be giving this worm, so we're gonna mulligan that. We're gonna mulligan hard here. We're either looking for just goose 
or um or food. There's no point in getting another mosquito here. Man, double kangaroo! Holy crap! There's also camel. I could just give up on the worm right now, which is sad, and just go camel kangaroo. Giving camel a bunch of food is really good, too. I feel like this is going to do better with food rather than having to go a monkey. I'm going to not go camel. I'm going to garlic. I am going to garlic the worm. I'm going to double kangaroo here. Which is insane. I'm not going to grab skunk. And... <laughs> Here's <a> double. <laughs> I probably should even grab these, right? For next round. To get some buffs. And ditch the, uh... And maybe ditch the mosquito. Or the badger. Really was hoping to get a little bit more buffs for the worm by this stage in the game. What's better, a 4 that takes 2 less damage, or a 7? I'd say probably this. We have a level 2 kangaroo, but we need something to put it behind. This is going to gain 4-4 four, four every single time something in front. Um, do I think I'm going to... If I think I'm going to lose this, I'll freeze these. If not, we're really just looking for food. You know what? Screw it. I'm freezing this. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. I'm still all in on the worm. Swan actually doing something nice. That only gets one attack. Still goes up to 7 8, though. It's not fair. Here's Honey Badger, which is actually going to win it. So we actually won. These snails that we froze are dead in the water. We're going to mostly be looking for food here, though. That's the entire game, is just how much food we can get. We got Buffalo. It's not viable because we don't have a level 3. We are getting crap here. Where is the good food? Come on, man. I almost want to ditch this and just grab Hippo now. Honestly, this is just a 4-4. We haven't been getting any pears or apples or anything, man. I think I'm just going for Hippo because it's overall the better card than Worm. It's a lot less maintenance, too. This is crazy how inefficient I'm actually spending my money right now. But we're still going to need some protection for you. Oh boy. See if we can hit the hippo. We did. Roll. Oh man. It's getting rough out there. I think this kangaroo actually goes behind the mosquito now. We really are going to need to get a monkey or something to start pumping some stats into this hippo. Yep, not the great luck with the food, so I actually just completely ditched the worm now. Kangaroo is actually going to get two buffs, which is going to be enough to, to carry us. So We're actually still doing okay, even though the worm did not work out when we invested into it. Yeah, we invested a lot of rolls and food into it and it got ditched. We're actually still doing okay. I think double buffing the hippo is going to be our best shot right now. So I'm just going all in on that. There's nothing here worth grabbing. There's absolutely nothing happening with this whale. We have an extra mulligan too, which is really nice. Uh, none of these are going to work. I'm really just looking for... Oh, there's another hippo? Hell yeah. There's also garlic. These both. These are actually all three things that we put onto this hippopotamus right now. Um, so I'm going to start... This is the least stats. So I'm going to start with... Do we want food more next turn or do we want hippo? I could do the hippo for the 1-1, one, one, but I think the garlic is going to help us the most in the short term. Uh, we could eventually just give this melon armor too. We're building a really nice looking hippo here. Which one of these do we do? I'm going to freeze whichever of these we don't do. Uh, melon armor is not coming for another bunch of rounds. So I should probably give this garlic just to be able to carry in the meantime. Okay. So I'm going to freeze you, I'm freezing you, I'm giving it garlic, and let's go. We're in extremely good shape right now. 
with the tier two kangaroo. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh, but he's got a 15. Oh, he's buffed this so much. He's putting three cards into one hippo, and it's probably gonna make us lose here. Yeah, we're definitely done. That's crazily strong. A huge garlic. There's nothing we can have that's gonna beat that unless we have a specialized deck. He also sunk. Oh my gosh. That was, that was actually just so unlucky because I was such a strong opponent. So it's gonna be you. We're gonna hippo. There's no point in trying to go for tier 3 kangaroo here. Um, right now, you know, we could get a monkey, which would be the absolute best thing. So I'm going to roll twice and see if we get it. I guess I'll grab this if I don't get the monkey right now. It's a turkey, which is so cool. Uh, no monkeys. Croc, I'm just going to, I'm just going to bust some stats into here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Got a bunch of good good cards, but let's see if we can survive another round and hopefully find a monkey somewhere, because we gotta really start pumping as many stats into this hippopotamus. And this is exactly the comp what we're looking to fight, because there's nothing here that's gonna be strong enough to take out the hippo. And fortunately, this actually got buffed before it's getting peppered. This hippo is gonna, it's not gonna die. It's just because, it, again, the hippo gets buffed every single time it kills something, and he's just got a bunch of small spammy guys. The hippo just keeps on healing. The kangaroo, yeah, they're not gonna get back to the hippo. It's just impossible. Okay, maybe this last shot will. Okay, great, congratulations. Easy. So we know we're doing hippo kangaroo. We can always get rid of any of this back line at any point in time. And we found a monkey. Okay, time to get rid of something now. Um... I think the honey badger is still the strongest thing, and the mosquito is going to be very good at hitting armor and stuff like that. I'm actually just going to ditch the swan now. We'll be getting rid of those other cards very soon. This monkey, of course, is putting 2-3 into this hippo every turn for free. So really good scaling here. We got chocolate, which I'll take. I'm going to buff the hippo and actually see if we can get a tier 6. We got Snake, which actually does well behind this buffed kangaroo. So I think I'm going to go for that. I'm going to ditch the honey badger now. It's not that good, you know, this late in the game. Um, there is a small consideration. So that we have a chain going. This is going to get buffed by the monkey. It's going to grow the kangaroo. And then the kangaroo is going to have a lot of shots, which is going to help the snake. I probably should garlic the kangaroo. There's a consideration to grab the turtle and hope that we find a pill somewhere. But... We're actually one step away from finding natural lemon armor, so I'm not even going to risk that. I'm melon armor. I'm going to just do this. Monkey's going to go in the back, because that is going to be our last guy if the mosquito does happen to trade with something. And we are in fine shape here. Fine shape. Hopefully we're just not fighting, you know, scorpions, which can one-shot the hippo, or just some someone who has just a bigger stat and then, like, a you know a skunk but yeah this hippo is thriving thriving go hippos now we got this and we have snake shots coming every single time the kangaroo is busting something we don't even need the snake we don't even need anything just like that we're at seven wins we got so many wins early here's melon armor holy crap we're doing really good now we got some cows to be able to put into things so melon armor is probably going to be good for Oh, oh yeah. Should I put it on the kangaroo or put it on the hippo? The kangaroo is going to be hit by a lot of buses, but I guess we beat that anyway. The hippo... I'm going to put it on the kangaroo, especially with the snake. I'm going to hold on to the snake. So we're going to go melon armor. We are ditching our misquita. We are grabbing cow, which gives us... This is actually the only example of a free card in this game. It's going to give us some milk. We are just putting everything into this hippo, which is the... Uh, we're relying on that to really build everything else that we are running. Okay. I don't really see anything. I use boar is nice. But if we had another food, I might even ditch the cow and go for boar. I'm just going to mulligan more. This could work. Sushi. It's above average food. The other thing we can do is also grab skunk right now. It's not worth it. Let's free sushi. We'll roll one more time. And we got a pair. What's better? Three randos getting one or just the the 
the front line getting two. I think it's front line getting two. We are going to get rid of you. And I don't think I keep the kangaroo. Tier three kangaroo is not really necessary. It's mostly just about making sure that this hippo is nice and healthy. We are in really good shape. Again, there's a few things that are going to kill us, but especially a, uh, a scorpion is definitely going to be one of them. Oh, that hurt. And it uh, looks like this is a loss because the opponent did have a scorpion, which is one of the weaknesses. That is how the meta works. We beat this type of comp where we're buffed is going to be able to beat summons, um, but scorpion is going to lose to summons and beat us. Uh, we could go for another snake. It's not terrible. I'm not going to go for another hippo. I don't think I do gorilla though. We need to put stats into the hippo. I, I, you know, frontline. If we had already like a big field, I would probably grab the gorilla. But it's not worth it right now. If we find more cows, we're definitely gonna wanna invest in those. I can't have a fifth minion, high maintenance minion, if our hippo is not even maxed out yet. Yeah, we don't got anything here. We got sushi, but I'm gonna keep mulliganing. We have two more rolls here. Sheesh. We're getting crap. We got a pair. I'll take the pair. I wonder if melon armor would just be better, just so the... Um... Melon armor still takes one damage there, right? We are getting another buff. So again, we just got to not run into... I mean, we still have like two or three lives left. So we just have to not run into a bunch of scorpion comps. This is fine. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> la 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 la. They're never gonna kill the hippo. It's not gonna happen. Uh, please don't hit the kangaroo. Thank you. Perfect. Easy. It's just a gimmick. Easiest freaking day of my life. Hell yeah. Still have two lives left. We just have to not bump into two more scorpions and we'll be fine. Cat is very interesting right now because it means we're able to double the effects. We really just need to make this hippo bigger <laughs> as soon as possible. Actually, we're at nine trophies. We just need to win one right now, man. Do I grab the cat and try to go for food? It means one fewer food. It's... I don't know, man. Oh, no, man. It, you know what? If we lose, the cat will be useful. So let's ditch the cat. Let's ditch this. We'll grab the cat. Do I go for the 2-2 two -two apple now? We're going to be able to buy two things and then unroll twice. I think since we have two rolls, I'm going to look for something better. Here's a snake. Snake roll and look for food. Another snake. We could also give steak to snake. I don't think that's the priority. I think just finding more for the hippopotamus. Give me something, please. All right, so we can give two randos 1-1, one, one, or we can give this guaranteed a 1-1. One, one. It'll be a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, let's go for the guaranteed, since this is really just what we need a buff. Monkey will hit it again. Yeah, steak snake sounds hilarious. Ha ha ha. And here's a summon build. I mean, this is take a nap and hand me the 10 wins. Let's go. This is the first time I'm streaming this game. I mean, I probably did one game like a year ago, but since we've learned this game and easy claps, not even close. There's not, it's just not even close. Look at the hippopotamus kick some tushies. Yeah, I don't care. You got double turkey. It's a lot actually. But um, Kangaroo is going to take the snake. Is also just getting so much value, bro. <laughs> Easy. All right, guys. So I hope that was a little bit of a uh, tutorial for you beginners and you kind of understood. You got to play the game, read all the cards. Uh, that was actually a really good example for new players because that is exactly the type of build you want to go for it's really is the simplest build you have a kangaroo it's either behind a hippopotamus or a camel or a worm and you're buffing that front thing with your monkeys and with your um and with your food until you're able to sort of make a chain gang the snake was very good in that last round but it wasn't even <laughs> really actually necessary for that win 
Hope you guys enjoyed. That was an absolute perfect way to start streaming this game. I will show you guys some other strategies, including the summons with all the turkeys and maybe some uh, other splashy, more splashy um, pufferfish builds in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed them. I certainly did. Peace. This is Fry.